Good morning guys and welcome to Life Apollo. So I will explain just a little bit later why I've been gone for the last week. But today we have taken the McLaren 570S to CarMax to see what they're going to appraise it and what they'll give it for them. We could give it for, I don't know, you know what I'm talking about. Let's go. And young Rick has decided to join us as well. So uh, let's go inside. It's been a while since I've been here guys, ever since the GTS. Okay, Aaron, with the McLaren, have you done any special modifications to it? Yes, so it's completely straight piped and it has a stage two ECU tune on it. So it's, you know, shoots flames and does all sorts of crazy stuff. Fun. Uh, from there, the offer we give you is good for seven whole days. Okay. So it gives you some time to get your ducks in a row there. This is a 2017 McLaren 570S. Okay, 570S, thank you for that. Well, you're welcome. Thanks for helping out today. Of course. So guys, we're actually sitting down at the computer. We're going through the different model numbers and they actually have not only the 570, but they get, they actually have the 600 LT in there and the Senna listed in case anyone's gonna bring a Senna to CarMax. All right guys, so we just walked outside and actually this is actually really cool. If you guys remember our biggest video of all time was actually bringing my Mercedes AMG GTS with, with the chrome wrap when we had it. And this is Scott. Scott is actually this guy who helped me appraise that car and he's appraising the McLaren today. Thank you, Scott, welcome back. It's good hey, to have no a problem. familiar face. So, yeah, uh, thanks. Let's start taking a look. I want to treat this appraisal just the same way that I'd, I'd uh, treat any other uh, Wouldn't have it any, any other, other way. vehicle. Awesome. So, uh, Thank so you so I'll much for your time, Scott. Follow that process. Yeah, you're welcome. I, I'm going to start by asking you how to get into this car. Okay, so it's right over here. <laughs> so there's actually a handle underneath. Okay. So feel this. Pull up a little bit, the window opens, and then it basically opens it's almost straight up. I think they're called uh, dihedral doors. Awesome. So a little, little yeah. different, but uh, very, very cool looking. So it's fun. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think in our, our last video, we were doing uh, just our inspection process and taking notes on paper. Okay. Um, we have upgraded our technology Ooh, to, I like that. to a handheld. <laughs> so is this first time sitting in McLaren? Sure. Yeah. Yeah? Cool. yeah. So how does it feel compared to other cars, I guess? Super low to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Got to gotta watch your head here. I the first, Literally the first time I got in this car, I hit my head super hard. And I was like ready for it. He was like, I hope I don't hit my head. And this yeah. whacked it really bad. Let's go to the videotape. Sitting. So, oh. <laughs> hit my head. All right. So yeah, put the foot on the brake and then you're just going to hold the start engine stop until it turns on. Okay. That's noisy. Yeah, <laughs> just a little bit. He's actually just inside right now taking a look and sort of trying to, I guess, go over all the different options. We don't have too many crazy options, not the crazy carbon fiber version. We do have the nicer sound system, but the Bowers and Wilkinson, so not bad. So he's uh, he's popping our, our, we'll say hood right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, no, I lied, I lied, it's over here. My bad, I forgot it was up here. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's over here. So, well, that's a whole lot So easy. we'll press this Let's button. Let's do that. We'll press there we down. go, that's, that's the hood, that's, guys. That's great. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's actually a pretty good size front for the most part. Good. Oh look, Rick has decided to prop up my, my uh, oh, this is, this is great. <laughs> Leave it to Rick to make fun of my car. All right guys, the appraisal is done and now it's time to go on a, on a drive with, uh, with Scott here. So this is it's gonna be very interesting. I don't think anyone else has actually driven my car except for me. A little nervous, not gonna lie. I'm sure Scott's gonna take great care of it. This is a cool day. Like this is the first time you've been in a McLaren and this is the first time driving. This is like, a, is this right. one of the crazier cars you've probably driven then? Yeah. Yeah, All right, definitely. man. This will be yeah. a good day. So let's. No, I, uh, I appreciate the opportunity. Thanks well, thank, a lot. thanks for having me, man. Yeah. On the brake. Awesome. And the brakes are carbon ceramic, so they're kind of they're they, touchy. You have to be a little bit. They feel like they grab already. Yeah. Yeah. So they're they're good, but you have to be a little harder on them than normal. And the car lurches forward when you're in drive. Well, there's a little bit of gravel on our Colorado roads. Oh, we'll be so. we'll be fine. I will certainly take it easy and just make sure everything's working mechanically and that the odometer turns and it's actual miles. Fantastic, man. I have no doubt you'll take good care of it. So, <laughs> so this is interesting, guys. Like, I, I've never let anyone drive my car except for me. And so, Scott, you're the first guy. Thank you very much for taking such good care of my car. Oh, thank you. All right, so you've been driven it for a few minutes. How does it feel compared to other cars? It feels really nice. Uh, steering is really smooth and and uh, even the ride is is really smooth. It's not that bad for, for uh, what it is. For, right? for right. yeah thinking of it as more of a race type vehicle or or an exotic or something it yeah it just feel good. Everything is going very well no problems yet we just gotta get get back into CarMax now I think and we'll be all right so uh, crossing our fingers guys last minute and we're back to CarMax with no issues whatsoever. We did it, thank you very much, man. Yeah. How, how did you feel, did you like driving it? 
well it's it's hard to feel comfortable in, <laughs> no, in, in a car of this value absolutely um, I want to be super responsible with it and, and careful with what we're doing to, um, to absolutely keep the owners well, thank, happy thank you for that. treating with such care yeah, yeah you're welcome all right so we was actually just trying to figure out how to put it in park there actually is no park so we're actually just gonna hold our foot on the brake and then we're gonna hit the start off or start engine stop and it'll actually put it sort of in its own version of park that's it and then we're good. You want to come over and see it? Like I was telling you. Yeah. This is a McLaren 570S. Wow. <laughs> you can have a seat inside, all right? Okay. All righty. Just be really careful because it's kind of hard to get in. So watch your head, all right? Whoa. What do you think, man? It's awesome. Yeah? I like it. It's a supercar, man. Got to get yourself one of these someday, right? Mm hmm. Awesome. Hey, let me know. Is this tonight okay for you? Awesome, man. Sweet. Nice to meet you. I'm Aaron. Hey, high five, five, man. Hey, if you want to see this video, it's going to be on the YouTube channel later, okay? okay. All right, Rick, what do you think it's going to be, man? I think that it's going to be around the 125, 125 mark? 130 mark. Right, yeah. I guess we'll see. I think it's going to be, I'm going to say 125, five. Wait, 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 that's not different. Rick was actually asking CarMax if they had any Vipers. They don't currently, but they think that maybe during the summer they might actually have some. So, so we are nervously awaiting the, the appraisal right now, the appraisal number. So we're, we're, Rick has his ideas. I have better ideas about what I think it's going to be. So we're, we're just, we're just, no, I'm not, I'm not spinning the camera. Rick is trying to give me the spin around camera. He's hey. not, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Yes, <laughs> yes Rick. Now I want to, I want to go on record and say that I'm a little bit mad right now that somebody else got to drive the car first oh, that's and not right. me. That's not really what is that all about, Aaron? Let me tell you guys a little bit about Aaron, all right? Aaron is a grandma driver. That's true. He has no idea how fast this car really is. Uh -huh. So I wanted to take the car out and just do the tests for him. That was it. I, I will take very good care of it and I will baby the car at 100 I mean, at 55 miles an hour. The appraisal process is on hold right now. We're actually gonna get some Chick-fil-A because they need like another hour or so to sort of get us an actual dollar amount. And that's what we came here for. So Chick-fil-A time, then coming back to the appraisal process, then getting our dollar amount and going home. I might've parked too close to the tree. Rick is not gonna brush my door against the tree. <laughs> right, Rick? I would never. <laughs> Thank you, sir. The only way to celebrate supercar days. <laughs> Nuggets and, uh, and Chick-fil-A fries. I love it. So we're done at Chick-fil-A. It's time to go back to CarMax and hopefully, hopefully get an appraisal number. We couldn't get one with the last time we did with the Lamborghini Countach. Mm. Uh, we are going to try. We got one for the AMG GTS, so we're hoping for a similar situation. All right, guys. <laughs> Rick's, Rick's going to keep this in there even though I don't want to. So we're just sitting down. The, the CarMax representative is about to come back. We're going to get, we actually have a number. They gave me a number. So um, I guessed 125. 125 five. That's what I guess. And Rick, you stole Rick it. stole my my version. <laughs> no. So we're gonna see. We're gonna see. All right, guys. We have the appraisal in hand. Just about to go home and realize. I, I gotta tell you, I'm extraordinarily surprised the number that they put down. You guys, this is gonna blow you guys away. Seriously. Whoop. All right, guys. I gotta say, I am. Ooh, I'm gonna knock the camera over. Okay. Gotta say, I'm extraordinarily surprised about what CarMax offered. So. Uh, if you watched the earlier part of the video, Rick and I thought it would be somewhere between the 125 and the 130. Um, that was sort of based on the fact that you can find 2016 high mileage ones for about the 150. You haven't really seen much under 150 unless it's got like 30,000 miles on it. So we did not expect this and I'll tell you why I'm so surprised. So they offered 138, $138,000. Now what's crazy about this is the fact that it was straight piped heavily cut into the cost. They told me it would probably be at 145 or even higher had we had the original exhaust system because they were gonna have to source it and come back with the original stuff. The fact that CarMax could offer 145 for a, you know, like a 2017 to use with like 4,000 miles on it is really competitive. That's only a couple thousand dollars. That's about $10,000 under the cheapest versions of the 2017 570S that you can get. We bought ours for like 166 or so. Uh, the fact that they are offering 145 is really not that bad, especially with all the modifications we've done to it, the tune, the straight pipes, and probably a lot of other stuff here soon. 
I honestly I can't believe it, guys. 138. I mean, that's that's a pretty good offer. CarMax, I think, is taking their exotic procurement a lot more seriously than they were a year and a half ago. I'm very impressed. CarMax did an awesome job. And let me just say one thing here. CarMax and their people treated me with a lot of respect, were extraordinarily nice to me. I have nothing but nice things to say about it. Treated my car, being very careful during our test drive. Thank you, CarMax of Colorado Springs. You are amazing. Thank you so much for your time. That, that's it guys, that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. So here's the cool thing, and this is what I wanna ask you guys about before we end the video. I sort of have pre-approval to bring any car that I want within reason to this particular CarMax that I've started working with. If you have an idea of what car I should bring to CarMax next, we have access to a lot of crazy stuff. Let me know in the comments if there's some car that maybe hasn't been done. If you even like CarMax videos anymore, let me know. Uh, and we'll and we'll do more of them. I don't, we we got some other stuff, fun uh, other fun things planned soon. So thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed and you like our channel, please subscribe and uh, leave a like. We enjoy doing these videos. So have a wonderful day, guys. We'll talk to you later and uh, see you.